Hi there, Kat Kerr here, and today we're going to be talking about resin book covers. Now I'll admit, when I first spotted these silicone book molds, I thought, man, there's so much possibility here. Today we're going to be using the smaller mold, and I kind of got carried away. The plan was just to make one book cover, but as you'll see, I made a little bit more than that. So for this first cover, we're using Amazing Casting Resin and Resin Obsession Opaque Resin Dyes. Amazing Casting Resin is a two-part resin. You need a one-to-one -one ratio and it cures completely white in about 15 minutes. But if you want to add a little bit of color, just add some to part A of the resin, mix it thoroughly, and then add part B and mix it together and then you're ready to pour it into your mold. Now I wanted multiple colors on this cover so instead of just pouring the entire resin into the mold I just added little drops at a time so I had a little bit more control. Next, I printed up an image onto computer graphics paper, and then I removed the backing and placed it onto the cover. I then decided to add Amazing Clear Cast as a top coat to my cover. It's also a one-to-one -one ratio, and it cures completely clear and has a 24-hour cure time. I mixed up a batch of two equal parts of Part A and Part B, and applied it to the cover. The second book cover was inspired by this resin piece I made over a year ago. I never used it and I thought it would be a perfect addition to the book cover. I simply mixed up a batch of Amazing Clearcast, added some glitter, mixed it thoroughly and then poured some into the mold. I embedded my resin piece into the, into the resin and then finished it with uh, the remainder of the resin that was in the cup. Book cover number three is all about crayons. I saved everything from my kids, including a whole box full of crayons. So I decided to cut some up and place them into the mold, and I mixed up a batch of Amazing Clear Cast and poured it on top of the crayons carefully so that it wouldn't spill over. And then I decided to add their initials. Um, I had these little wooden letters and I added some resin um, behind them to adhere them to the cover as well as adding some to the top of the letters. And then I finished the cover off by adding a little bit of sparkle and then I let it cure 24 hours. For book cover number four, I decided to try some alcohol inks. I picked an assortment of colors, but first I needed to add a layer of clear cast resin to the mold. And then I just started adding color.
by this point I needed to tone down some of that color so I decided to sprinkle on some metallic powder Book cover number five has to be my favorite. I added a layer of Amazing Clear Cast to the mold and I let it cure. Then I printed up an image onto computer graphics, peeled off the backing, and placed it on the cured resin. Next, I burnished the image with a popsicle stick just to make sure that it's completely flat. In my final um, layer of resin, I decided to add a transparent dye um, to the resin. I still wanted to see the image. I didn't want it to completely cover it up. So I just added a little bit of the transparent orange um, into the resin, mixed it together, and then poured it into the mold. Book cover five and a half is actually a redo cover. This cover, um, I wasn't happy with it. I didn't like the color combination. And so what I decided to do was I had some leftover resin from the transparent orange um, left and I added some pearlescent powder to it and then I applied it to the top of this cover, added some embellishments and I love the way it came out. As you can see, I had a hard time stopping. The truth is, you can embed anything into the resin to make a fun and unique book cover. This video is brought to you by www.resinobsession.com. To see the complete list of materials used in this tutorial, see the description below.